Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be planning the week of March 25th to March 31st, 1st, oh my god, I can't talk, in my Erin Condren Hourly using Planner Kate Kit 611. Not my email going off. As always, I have the th thin strip header. I can't talk today, I'm stumbling. I have the sidebar. appointment labels. I have the weekly sampler and the full boxes. All right, so getting into it, this is actually, wow, I'm planning already the last week of March. I really feel like on one hand, and this is how I just generally feel about time now, now that I'm out of college and working full time and only take like two weeks off in the year, I feel like time does pass quickly, but also not. <laughs> I go back and forth on how I feel about time and the speed of time and how I spend my time. Definitely now that I do YouTube and Twitch, so now that I do like content creation, I have Stuff that I look forward to every day of the week, and that really helps with my feeling of time passing because I don't feel like I'm just waiting and waiting for the weekend. I now have stuff that I look forward to during the work week. There's 31 days, yes. Um, like Monday, Tuesday, I stream. On Tuesday, I also tend to do the plan with me. So I film that. And then Wednesday is a filming day. That's when I do my budget with me and I go to the bank. So I do my cash stuffing. That's when I actually do the cash stuffing. And then Thursday, the plan with me goes live. So I keep track of, you know, viewership and likes and I start getting feedback. I respond to comments. Friday, the next video goes live. Saturday, the next video goes live. And then Sunday, everybody else in the community um, posts their um, play, uh, cash stuffing. So I realize I'm kind of the odd one out in when I post my cash stuffing and budget with me. I have thought about changing the day of the week that I do post, but I don't know, I feel like now I've really committed to, um, I've kind of committed to my schedule and I kind of feel like, well, <laughs> too late now. And I feel like it's fine that I'm not doing it at the same time as everyone else. I don't know if it works in my favor technically, but I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So I now have stuff that I look forward to every day of the week. Like every day is fun-ish. <laughs> you know, not every day is super fun, but you know, I have something that I do every day that I enjoy. And also Sunday is nice, not just because other people do their cash stuffings, but um, I'm going to put this to the side because I am going to use the habit tracker this week. What was I saying? Oh yes, you know, Sunday has also become really fun because it's one of Evan's days off. And I've been really enjoying that because we spend a lot of the day together. Um, kind of loafing, we've been really into Hell's Kitchen. Um, so we watch a lot of that once he gets home from work and after we have dinner. Um, and then we watch a lot of episodes on Sundays too. So yeah, just my big tip to you is don't just rush through the work week and then only have fun on the weekends. Try to create stuff throughout the traditional work week that you still look forward to. Create those routines where you have stuff that you enjoy because um, it makes 
life better, in my opinion. That's my unsolicited advice for the day. Okay. So, as you can see, this is an Easter kit. Um, I'm gonna white out Good Friday. I'm gonna white out all these holidays. Um, so my family, I've mentioned before, I'm not religious, neither is my family. So we celebrate Christmas and Easter uh, the super consumer way with Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and that's just kind of how we do the holidays. Um, so I'm pretty sure my mom will do an Easter dinner. Um, she did one for St. Pat's. Um, I was the only one of her child of her children to stay for dinner. Now my brother and the kids did come for the day. Um, they did come for the day, which was fun. It was good to see them. Um, my nephew, he is so their birthday. Both of them, their birthdays are back to back, right next to each other. Their day, their two years and a. 364 days, whatever, uh, apart. So his birthday is May 5th and hers is May 6th. And so he, his personality is really coming through and he's just, he's really cute. <laughs> he's at an age where he's really cute. I mean, you know, kids are all cute in their own way at any age. I won't be having children, but I still like kids. You know, I think they're fine. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting to do my full boxes again. I'm going to do, how am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna use this one on Easter. We're gonna work our way backwards because this is a week with a holiday, so I want to use a specific full box on that day, because I'm super goofy that way. Hmm. So anyway, um, I don't know, I think he's really cute. But so is my niece, you know, she's, <laughs> I like her in particular, like, you know, the reason, one of the reasons I like her, not just because she's related to me, but she's got, she's really fiery and she can be kind of stubborn. And honestly, that's relatable. <laughs> relatable content. She, I don't know, she's just, ever since she was a baby, she's not been interested in being like a little kid. She's always been like, no, I got it. Like she almost skipped walking altogether in favor of just going ahead with walking. Like she's, and I feel like she also kind of skipped baby food. She was like, no, I want to eat, I want to eat real food. Like she just, I don't know. She was just never interested in being a baby. She's always been kind of independent and kind of feisty, you know, fiery. Anyway, so I admire that about her. It's amazing like how quickly kids' personalities like shine through and you can kind of see a little bit of maybe who they'll be when they're older. I mean, you know, it always kind of they can change, right? People change over time, but it's interesting how much of the like, what do I want to say? The like foundations of their personality show through um, when they're little. Anyway, so that's my TED talk on kids <laughs> as someone who is not having them. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so what are we doing? What is, so Hello Monday is pink. So let's do this teal. I'm having issues. I just did my nails this morning and they're, so they're a little sharp on the edge and I'm just having difficulties with touching things cause I don't want to like scratch anything. 
And that's just, it's really a struggle. <laughs> On this episode of uh, First World Problems. But anyway. So there's Hello Monday, and then Hello Friday. We're gonna do the yellow, just to introduce some of that into the spread. But yeah, we had a good time. The kids, it was one of the first times that the kids spent time without their parents there. Like my brother and sister-in-law, they like left. Um, Oh, you know what? I want to use the balloon for Easter because it's a holiday. Hmm. Is there something fun I can use for Hello Friday? Not really. So I'm going to, well, we'll use this coffee cup. Come here. Um, so it was the first time that they had been left at my folks' place and with us for just a couple hours, no parents. And they did well for the most part until everything changed <laughs> when my poor nephew, after a couple, after like hour three and a half, he just cried because he just suddenly missed, I guess it wasn't sudden, but he just missed his parents so bad and he just started crying and he, he sat um, in front of the front door and was just sobbing, missing his mama and his daddy. And his daddy, like, both at the same time. Um, not one or the other. He wanted both of them. And we were able to distract him for a little bit. We took him to the park and, you know, we were able to get him to play on the playground. And he was excited about that. But only for a little while because then he saw the elementary school and he suddenly remembered his parents, I think, because my dad said, that's where your daddy went to school and that kind of broke the illusion. <laughs> um, and then he just could not be consoled. And so I, I texted my brother, I was like, hey, uh, the gig is up, you need to come home because your son just, needs you. So once my brother and my sister-in-law got back, oh man, the the smile on that little boy's face was pretty great. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's how St. Pat's went. Um, there was a lot of Play-Doh. Play-Doh was very big, as it always is when they come over. I forgot to put my scale on there. But that was, so that was my last week, that was my weekend, that was my Sunday. Um, it was good to see family and spend time with them, so. Okay, so that's kind of my top row stuff. It is not a payday because I'm getting paid this week. And that's that on that. So, let's go over videos, okay. So I have, I'm going to put more pink down because I'm feeling this shade of pink. So we're gonna have our usual three. So the cash stuffing, the budget with me, the plan with me. And then we have additional planner videos. And I'm going to do those Monday, Tuesday. So Monday is going to be the Planner Kate April haul. And then and then Tuesday, we're gonna do the April plan with me because I might do my planner cart video on Wednesday. I have, um, oh, I'm out of, maybe not. Um, so, uh, because I recently got a planner card, my first ever, I'm officially super, um, planner YouTuber. I have my, <laughs> I have a planner card, um, and I'm really excited about it. So I want to make a video 
um, showing y'all how I have it set up, my accessories with it, and kind of the planning materials that I have, because uh, I think that might be interesting. And then we got streams. Y'all, I don't know how you guys are doing, but we're starting, spring has sprung here in California and God, my nose has just been running and the allergies have just been terrible. I'm putting down my streams here for those of you who are new here. I'm a streamer on Twitch that is crooked. Unacceptable. That's still kind of crooked. Dang, man. There, that's better. Um, let's see. So I got my YouTube, I got my streams. I need planners. I'm going to use this like daisy. This daisy one. But I'm gonna put it lower just in case I do a video up there. And that is planning time. I'm gonna put it up there this week. I don't have any errands to run. Um, trash day, trash day, trash day. I'm gonna put it on the, well, what color is trash day? Trash day is blue. Okay, so I'm gonna use yellow. I'm gonna put it on one of these this week. Because otherwise it's just so much teal. Another thing I'm very excited about is I did a big, <laughs> I did a big planner order. I know what you're thinking, Amanda, more planners. Yes, more planners, of course, more planners. I did a big happy planner order. Now I've never used happy planner, but they just had their spring launch and I don't know, I just like got really excited about it. And that was kind of that. Laundry day. And I don't really need to know the gardener's coming because I kind of know that now. Okay. I wonder if I'll go over to my folks' house and spend the night. I probably won't. So, do I want to stream on Saturday? Saturday morning? I think I will just because um, when Evan goes to work and I still and I stay home, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> so like I might as well stream. And that's that. So now I'm going to consult my calendar here. And I do have a bill due on the 26th, so I need to make sure that gets paid. I'm gonna use this floral because I do enjoy that. But anyway, so I did a big um, happy planner haul and I'm excited to post that video um, because I am excited for fresh new planners. Um, so some of them don't start until July, which, oh my God, I'm pained to wait. But some of them I can start using right away because they're undated. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. My first box comes tomorrow, very hyped. Yeah. Okay, so I need a 10 minute tidy. I'm going to use pink. Put that down. I'm gonna put it down here actually. That's where 10 minute tidy bank is gonna go there. And I'm trying to see, oh, clean house. Cleaning the house is more likely to happen on Saturdays versus Sundays. I find that I've been kind of loafing more 
on Sunday, and especially because Sunday is going to be Easter, so... Actually, that's a lot of blue. I don't like how much blue that is. I'm going to break it up with this. Because cleaning can be more of a bigger thing. Clean house. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know what it is, but with work lately, like my nine to five, I've been so burnt out and just like, I'm busy, but I'm somehow like bored. <laughs> like I'm bored with what I'm doing. And I like don't know how to fix that. So send send good thoughts and maybe like tips for how to not be bored with your corporate job. <laughs> and I mean like that's just part of corporate as it is kind of boring, but I don't know. I've just been like really over it this week. I've been having a hard time staying motivated and like on the ball. I feel like I'm just falling off of it, which is really bad, but true. Okay, I am going to be right back. I'm going to get my big planner Kate uh, binder with all my big stickers and I'll be right back. Oh my God, getting this from my planner cart is such a breeze and I'm so happy about it. So I need Easter Sunday. I need Piggy Bank. No birthday, none of this, none of that. Okay. Streams, I need three. Oops, oh gosh, I ruined it. Did I ruin it forever? No. Okay, just be, just slow down, Amanda. Take it easy. So that's streams, I ride shopping, fuel up, walk, oil change, family dinner. For this kit, what do I want to use? Oops. It's going to be this one. And I'm just going to plop it down on there. I always feel bad assuming when there's going to be a family dinner. Like, what if my mom's not up for it? But it's just a sticker, I can remove it. <laughs> I'd rather like plan on, I'm just gonna keep using the pink. I'd rather plan on not being somewhere than, or plan on being somewhere and then just being like, oh, I have free time than not planning on being somewhere and then realizing, no, there are plans to be there. I'm gonna use this kind of peachy shade and I need four of those. So that's how I feel on that. And I'm going to use this kind of like green for our film camera. For these, I'm actually gonna use the purple, which I know is a little bit of an unhinged choice given the kit, but I just think it'll be cute. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, and I think that is it for stickers. Not planning on maintenance coming. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. Here we go. So 10 minutes, oh, that's pink on pink, but that's fine. Stream. Put my streams in. I'm going to have them all be the same this week. Just for the funsies of it all. I'm gonna put this in the center this week. The purple is actually cute. There's no purple in this kit, but I associate like pastel purple with Easter. There we go. 
And there's a little bit of this orange in the kit, so that's fine. Oh, I'm missing, oh gosh, I only did four. I need another one. Easter Sunday. So I am missing a this. Missing a YouTube play button. Put this on the planner cart. Get it out of my way. Come back to this. Put our little balloon on. Gorgeous. Cute. Not a lot going on on Thursday and Friday, huh? Mostly just videos going up and then just getting groceries, really. I wonder if I have anything in my freebie book that I could put. I could put down. Do I have anything either decorative? Just a lot of boxes. I could put down like a workout and dinner sticker maybe. Like put dinner down. Just to fill it up a little bit. Workout. Let's see. None of these doodles really speak to me. At least, you know, for like today. Ooh, other workout. I could put this little girl. Cute. Oh, I meant to put down the habit tracker. That's right. Hello. We'll put it down. Put it down on Friday. So, because I'll work out probably more like the morning. I usually work out like in the middle of the day. Because then there's nobody there at the apartment complex. That's right, I wanted to try habit tracking this week. And the habits I want to track are working out, water, I want to do 40 ounces, which is two of my water bottle. Um, I should really do my Duolingo. And I want to do more journaling. Journaling. Pretty. Great. And then that just kind of fills up. Oh, I like that. Cute. Okay, that makes me very happy. And I think that's at 390. That's right. I'll be cash stuffing 390 a week. As far as to-dos specific to that week, nothing planned. Um, and then that's where I do my meal planning. I think everybody that that is it for this plan with me. Just making sure. Let me just put this car just for fun because that's when I'll drive to my folks' house. All right, that is everything. Here's how the spread turned out, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, oh my goodness, a little loud. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.